If you see the warehouse that we have, uh, the first 12 main island that we have is for Mac and all the rest till the end is for Volvo. In the outbound side, close to the outbound operations, we will have uh, the Penta stock where we stop in front of it and then I can share to you how big is the, the Penta business within, within the facility. As uh, Sally just mentioned, we have close to 70,000 uh, parts numbers stored in our, our warehouses. We receive an average of 3,000 lines per day, all brands together, and uh, we ship close to 18,000 parts a day on the outbound side. So we are split in three shifts. Let's say that we have few peaks during the year, and the parts that are close to the outbound, we have more pickings. That is just to improve the productivity on the outbound side. So this part here maybe rotates twice, three times a year. But as much as we go to the outbound, then this part there is rotating almost some of the parts every day we are shipping parts from, from, from Bahele. So here we have two aisles, and in the outbound side we have another four aisles for Penta. Then when we'll be there, we'll see more or less uh, what we have, uh, how we store parts on the outbound side for, for Penta. The one piece flow concept is to move the part as fast as possible to the area if you have locations. If you see those parts that we have just behind you, these parts where we don't have location now, this should be stored on the floor and we don't have location. So this is some work that we are, we have a project now up running in order to improve our floor space and then we can flow this part uh, as fast as possible to be available to the, to the customers. So the, the export process is a little bit different from the others that we have. When we have a domestic flow, we just need to put the packing list on the, on the, on the parts, on the, on the cases, and the invoice documentation. But for export, we have the export documentation as well that is not that easy. So we have, it's completely manual process and the, is where we have a lot of claims from, from our customers. So this is a critical process. That's why it's separated from the domestic flow. There we have the packing line for export process. Then we can see this conveyor where we need to choose, you know, the consignments that we have, where we need to ship the parts. When they pack it, they put the packing list and the shipping label. They need just, just to put it on the floor. And then uh, services center or the desk, we work with the docu exportation documentation.